Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another episode on the Tashcraft server. It is episode 13, and today we are starting things off in... I, I don't... like, this, this drown shrine thing? I, I don't know. Uh, if you guys remember, if you guys have been watching my channel for a, a, quite a while, uh, I made this because I had extra drowned heads for my drowned farm. Um, and yeah, I just kind of <laughs> spiraled out of control. I haven't shown it to you guys in a while, I don't think. Uh, but I just add like another two stacks or something. Um, yeah, so it was getting a little bit crazy. I just thought that I should do that really fast. But anyways, let's like roll the intro and actually get on with today's video. So we're starting things off at my base. And if you guys remember last episode, I said something about making like a nice big door over here and like having my storage room in here instead of ruining this beautiful thing that's happening over here. Um, and I, I still want to do that and I've been so excited to get started on it that I'm literally starting before uh, my last video has even been posted. So yeah, this is like two weeks in advance. Uh, I typically give myself a day off, but we're getting straight into it because I'm so excited. Uh, so before it was just going to be like a little small 3x3 area and then Mumbo Jumbo released his best builds of 2019 and reminded me that we now have honey blocks. So, <laughs> I'm gonna take this whole large chunk and bring it down into the floor and I am pumped to see how it looks. Um, yeah, I think that we should be good water-wise because, no, it goes down a little bit there. Okay, we'll have to figure that out. But yeah, basically this whole chunk of like wall is just gonna disappear and it's gonna look amazing so we're getting started on it right now and I'm pumped <laughs> we have a huge huge problem so basically this is this is what it looks like right so th down here it has to be the door uh, the, the length of the door plus seven blocks that's how much like that's how long it has to be does that make sense how like far you have to dig down uh, but the problem is We've hit bedrock, and this is only 11 blocks deep, so that means we're only going to be able to do, like, part of the door, which is not going to be much. I think it's literally just going to be these floor, four blocks right here, so it'd be right here. That would be the top part. Oh, it would still be cool, but it's not that cool. Mm, I'm sad. I'm really, really sad. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to eat. Ugh, I don't know what to do, though. <laughs> That's really suckish. There's not much I can do about it, though, so I guess let's just finish it. That's too bad, though. That's depressing. So, I ended up building the whole thing without recording it, for the most part. Um, so yeah, head, heads up about that. It's, it's basically finished. <laughs> So that went really horribly, actually. Um, I placed down blocks so I could place the observers in the right way, and when I broke those blocks, it just all got messed up. Um, so now it's just a mess. <laughs> uh, and I think I'm just gonna restart at this point. Uh, I'm gonna probably just go for a different design, because I wanted to do the whole wall, but I can't do that anyways because of the bedrock here. Uh, so yeah, let's just restart, I guess. So, new plan is we're gonna make this door instead. Um, I, I should have looked closer at the video uh, that Mumbo Jumbo released, but this one is exactly what we want. Um, it's a 4x4, four four, but we can make it into a 4x21 if we want to, I believe. Um, pretty simple. Only thing is, you have to make sure that you, this signal strength reach, reaches however far you want, but that won't be a problem for us by any means. Uh, so yeah, I think that this should be pretty good. I mean. It's, it's so small. It's so compact. I think that this should not be a problem. I don't know how to do flying machines in the slightest, but I feel like even myself can replicate this one. I don't know what I was thinking about the other one. The other one's so complicated compared to this. I know this might sound crazy, but I think I'm done. And I'm really nervous to press this button, but better do it now than never. Okay. So, the bad news is it did not work, obviously. The good news is, I think I actually know why. So, remember how I said that the redstone uh, wouldn't be a problem because, like, if it didn't reach, it would be a problem, but it's going to reach? It doesn't reach. <laughs> um, 
and I just forgot that we had to do this glass thing. But I think that I just needed to make like a little, uh, like just I got to put a repeater in there, and we should be good to go. I think. I hope. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <sighs> what could go wrong? So I think that this should work. Basically, power is gonna come up here. Da da da. It's going to go. It's gonna power this repeater. That repeater is gonna power this redstone dust, and it's just gonna make its way back up. I think that should be good. So uh, this is so nerve wracking. Let's just press the button. Let's just get it over with. See how. Yeah. What happened there? I honestly was thought that I figured it out. Okay, it's not a big problem. I just have to remake the whole circuit. <laughs> this is gonna be great. <laughs> All right, please, 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 please work. Why? Seriously, why? Why won't that work? I'm so confused. Okay, don't get mad at me. Um, this observer has been hidden uh, by the floor and I just now noticed it, so... That, that may be the answer to my problems. If that's not the answer to my problems, then I have, I give up at this point. <laughs> well, it broke again. I'm gonna go and take a nap. Well, actually go to bed. It's it's late. <laughs> Alright, well, it is the next day, and I'm, I'm actually really excited to try again. I think I can do it this time. Um, I'm gonna go slow, and I'm gonna put the observers in first. And then everything else, that way I don't accidentally power something by placing in observers and like destroying the block that I placed it on and whatnot. So yeah, I'm excited and let's try this again. Okay, there's no way that I can like not work this time. Yes! Oh my gosh, I just exited out of Minecraft for a hot second. That is amazing though. Ugh, that took like so many attempts, but I'm really, really happy with it. Oh wait, let's make sure. Yes, it looks so good. Okay. I think I'm good. Okay, so let's like put in walls and whatnot and make it look nice. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> so I've been working just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on uh, the inside of this wall. And this is what it looks like. I know this doesn't look super pretty, but there's not much I can do about it, sadly. Um, because this, the slime blocks and the honey blocks will just take out any other block and like crash the system and whatnot it's not great uh, but anyways this is what it's gonna look like with uh, dirt well actually it's gonna be grass like in here um, on the floor and then we're just gonna have uh, white uh, white concrete on the walls and ceiling and we'll probably get um, we'll probably just use the carpet again for the lighting so it's basically gonna look like this room except there's gonna be a lot of redstone -y stuff going on because it's gonna be of course our sorti sorting room um, our storage room so yeah but what I've been really spending my time on is actually planning out everything that is gonna go in our storing sorting system and it's pretty long actually <laughs> it's it's quite long um, which is uh, it's all right um, so if you guys want to like you know just see what I have in here I'm just gonna do like a, a little walkthrough of it really fast actually I'm gonna do more of a run through you can you can like make the video get slower if you really are curious what I'm, on what I'm doing uh, but this is my plan basically I put the hoppers up here to like show how it's gonna work so obviously it's gonna go this way it's gonna come up here it's gonna drop in our these are like our blocks that like cobblestone and stone and whatnot so this is gonna be our bulk storage for that and then it goes this way, da, 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 da. and then this blue represents water, it goes down here, uh, please don't mind, wait, yeah, okay, here we go, don't mind this, this was, this is my testing world, and this was like a skeleton stuff, uh, but it's gonna go into here, and this is just everything that we don't already, like, that we don't have a stores place for it, so this is just kind of like, you know, trash, basically, if, it's, if it hasn't gone into our sorter, then I probably typically don't use it uh, so yeah it's big it's gonna be a difficult to make for sure but I'm ready for the challenge and I know I complain a lot on this channel to be honest like I, I just am like I, oh, I hate this project oh this is sucks I, uh, ugh. but like I actually enjoy big projects even though they're hard they are fun to do uh, so yeah let's actually make the room though because we have to obviously extend it 
really far <laughs> and make it really large. Uh, so yeah, let's get started on that. It's 56 blocks long. That's delightful. I can't wait. I'm, I'm really excited. And I've actually been working decently hard and I'm halfway there. Uh, this is middle right here. And that is 51 blocks, 52 plus, I, I don't know, something like that, uh, long, so that's great. I also set up another beacon, so now we have haste to wherever we are, and we'll change these to probably speed uh, once we're done building everything. I think that should help a lot. But now I'm obviously just in the process of, you know, taking all of these blocks out, obviously. Uh, but it's it's not fun because I also have to do uh, the wall, so I have to take out like an extra block and then I have to do the ceiling and the floor. Uh, but it's not a big deal. Like, this is this is fine. I'll be done with it really soon, hopefully. I, I don't know. So I finished digging it out. It really was not a big deal at all. And as you can tell, I've also started placing in the top the roof, the roof of it, uh, and also I did all the walls, and I still have to do, take out like the bottom part, but it shouldn't be that bad, like, it shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, so yeah, the only problem is that I'm out of white, st uh, white stained concrete, I believe it's called, yeah, stained, yeah, white concrete, I don't know if it's white concrete, stained concrete, I think it's just white concrete, anyways, the point is I'm out of it, um, and I don't think I have any sand, but I have a ton of gravel, so... I think we're gonna have to go make a trip to the desert really fast. Alright, well, I uh, fixed up my tools and I also got uh, two shulker boxes of white concrete, which is awesome. Uh, but it's powder right now, we gotta go and make it into good old regular concrete, uh, which is gonna take a long while. <laughs> uh, but hopefully, it shouldn't be too bad. I would just put water on it afterwards, um, but I it's the roof and. I, don't, uh, I mean, it prob- no, wait, that wouldn't work, what am I saying? Because it would just fall down if I put it on the roof, yeah, so I gotta, I gotta actually transform it before I place it down. So this little setup that I have right here uh, probably worked great, like, years ago, uh, but now it actually starts, like, bringing the concrete in my offhand uh, up slowly, but surely, and that means I can't go AFK here, and also, it's not, like, super fast, like, it's alright, but it's not, like- you know, super speedy, but um, with 1.14, as you guys probably already know, uh, TNT blows up items, and it'll give you all the items uh, that it blows up, so I want to build one of those concrete makers that are, like, super fast, and the only problem is that I don't really know where to build it, is what I said to myself one minute ago, and then I looked up. And I decided that I'm going to build it over here because going all the way up there to use a concrete maker would take forever. And you know what? This is a starter base. I don't really care how it looks. So we're going to build it right here. <laughs> now, I would like to mention really fast that I'm not making this just for that tiny little thing uh, to finish it off. First of all, yes, concrete is very useful and it would be nice to have this. But I'm also making it for the hackster because look at what he's doing. Look at this. This is going to be our nether as you can already tell, um, <laughs> but like he's trying to lay out where all the land is, where all the water is, and all, everything like that, and it's crazy, and he needs tons of, oh no, oh no, no, I, I can't let that gas blow up the stuff, uh, but yeah, so he's, go he's like, working incredibly hard, and it's incredible, uh, so thank you to him, first of all, uh, but yeah, so I'm just gonna try and make this and give him full access to it, because... I feel like it's only fair because he's no 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 ah uh, that was a mistake but he's working so hard on it so yeah it's only fair that i give him access and i'm totally happy to do that i don't know why i'm so bad at recording projects but i already started and like am more than halfway through with doing the tnt um concrete thing so yeah just a heads up <laughs> okay it, it's time i'm terrified <laughs> Um, these timings are not right. This thing's gonna go boom boom. <laughs> uh. Oh, why would I fly? I'm so stupid. That shouldn't w matter because everything's gonna get picked up, but still, that was just really stupid of me. Uh, but it looked like it worked, which is great. Yeah, nothing's getting blown up. Yay! Alright, let's get all our stuff back. That was so stupid of me, but... It's alright, you know? Sometimes you just do those stupid things. You guys aren't gonna believe this. That actually destroyed some of my stuff. Ah, so I have all my armor in my elytra, so that's good. 
uh, but I'm missing one pickaxe, I'm missing my uh, silk touch, uh, and I'm also missing my sword and my axe. Wait, no, I have my axe. Okay, so maybe it's just those two things. Uh, it's not a big deal. Oh, I'm also missing food, but I have plenty of that in this chest. Um, so I would actually be frustrated right now, but we have the men, uh, the, the trading hall. So like, I'm actually in a good mood and I'm chill about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, either way, that still works. So I'm happy, but we are running low on diamonds. So I do have to actually get started on, you know, like mining. <laughs> But it's so boring, and I don't want to do it, but we should do it. Ugh. We, we will, eventually. Well, as stupid as that was, we're basically back to where we were. Uh, we have uh, our pickaxe back, and then we also have our sword back. It just doesn't have, um, uh, sorry, not looting, uh, sharpness 5 yet. That's one thing we don't have in our trading hall yet. Uh, but it's okay, we'll get that back soon. Uh, is this done? I... I should I, I guess I'll have to watch the rest of the video to see if it's done or not. <laughs> Supposedly it should be ready, so... Uh, let's turn this on. Oh, oh I, I need to get over there. Okay, uh, let's turn it on. And that should start the TNT. Um, now we just... This feels slow. It's just here is that does this feel slow. Okay, let me check. Maybe it's just the server lagging. Yeah, it's definitely slower. I think it's just the server, like, you know, not being great at this with TNT exploding or whatnot. I get it, it's just, oh, my clicking, when you hold the mouse button down, it's slow, so what you want to do... It's something more like that. Oh, got jammed. That's alright. But yeah, that's, that's more what you want to do. <laughs> uh, so, I have a, actually a great amount of, uh concrete now and there's some still left in that shulker box and still some left at the base uh, so I'm gonna take out the rest of the blocks and put in uh, the rest of the concrete and we should be good to go and when I mean good to go I mean like you know put in the redstone and get the chests in and whatnot and it should be interesting it's probably gonna take like a really really long time to get all the materials that I have in the sorting system though because like you have to put in the items into the hoppers uh, in order to like in order for the hoppers to know which item is being sorted uh and you have to put like 40 something uh items in it so that should be fun to do uh it's probably gonna take a long while but we'll get it done it should be fun all right ready let's do a whole reveal sort of thing so we hit the button bam 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 cham yeah so we got all the walls and the flooring done uh so now we just have to do the redstone part of it um which I mean, it'll probably take a while, but it won't be hard. Uh, so I guess let's make like 20 billion hoppers uh, and 20 billion chests and a lot of comparators. Okay, let's let's go on a little um, gathering session, I'd say, because <laughs> yeah, thinking about it, it's, it's gonna take a lot of materials. <laughs> you know, I already made that big farm. Why don't I just make another? <laughs> I mean, like we we need a tree farm pretty badly. <laughs> And same duplicating TNT, why not? Uh, I think I might go for it. Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> so I kept on saying to myself, oh, I'm gonna record. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna record. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna definitely record at least a little bit in the middle and at the end. Uh, I never recorded me building this at all. I just, I don't know, I wasn't in the mood, I guess. <laughs> um, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's ready to go. I, I think it shouldn't blow up. Uh, I need to go get some birch like saplings though So let's go get those and test this thing out I'm sorry. I didn't record any of it and guess what? I also really need the recording because I should be editing today instead of recording um, But instead I'm over here not recording and still playing for, for the most part um, So yeah, that's great. Um, hopefully we get at least one birch sapling from this all right, we got a shulker full of, um, what is the stuff called, uh, um, bone meal, that's what it is. Uh, so that's going and filling into the dispenser over there, right here. And that should make it so that our trees grow pretty fast. Um, I think we're ready for a test. I just don't know how to turn this thing on. <laughs> okay, so by the way, this is the El Mango design. It's like the simplest tree farm or something. Uh, supposedly it works for 1.14, uh, 15, I don't know what I'm in anymore, um, 
But, like, you have to go down to the comments and, like, read what the comments say, because, like, you need to set repeaters to different timing and whatnot. So if we turn this on, and we aim right there. Does this... That needs to have bone meal in it. Why does that... Did I put it in the right chest? I, I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, now it's working. I think that droppers needed to be full. So now we just hold down this button and hopefully... Okay, I, I don't think this is working. I think that something's happening with this dispenser that's not making it work. Okay, so if I put some bone meal in here and then I hold it... Okay, we're gonna get a little bit closer. Okay, I think right there. If we hold it down, it will actually start working. And in, in just a second, it'll explode. There it goes. And yeah, it works great. Um, I don't know why like the dropper system isn't working, but I'm sure we can figure out a way to fix that. Uh, oh, that's not good though. Oh, okay, it fixed itself. So I, I mean like, yeah, I guess let's just leave this running for a little bit. All right, uh, I still don't even know how much we got both one dispenser full of, um, what's the stuff called? A bone meal. We got a really good amount of birch. I don't know how long that took, but I don't think it was super long. Oh, I actually think I made, two actually, no, it's double, so I need a lot more chests for, um, our storage room because every single one's a double chest plus the hoppers, all this wood, every single piece of it's going into making chests, <laughs> but... That's a lot of chests, so uh, I'm really happy. Let's go AFK at the skeleton farm and get more bone meal, though. Look at all this wood. This is from three stacks of bones, nine stacks of bone meal, and that's five and a half stacks of birch logs, which is amazing. So we're going to make all this into actual planks. Wow, look at that. Look at that. I'm so stoked right now. That's so much wood. It's so much- oh, this is amazing. This is my new favorite farm. It was pretty easy to build and it- oh, so amazing. Uh, but we're actually gonna fly over there and place in all the chests so we actually know how many more we actually need, uh, if that made sense. <laughs> so right now I'm in the pro- well, I placed in all of the chests, by the way. Uh, probably should mention that. Also, I got the item frames in and I expanded this uh, wall by one more block because I realized that in my testing world it was just one t chest, but I want to make it a double chest, so that means that the wall has to go back one more for all the redstone to uh, fit in. Uh, but now I'm trying to just place in everything that I need um, just in the item frame so that way when I'm actually doing it later where all the stuff has to go into the hopper so it gets sorted correctly. Um, I know what is what. Okay, I'm like somewhat freaking out because I just found a pink sheep. A pink sheep. These things are so- let me look up how rare they are. They have a 0.16% chance of- oh, don't you eat him. Don't eat- don't do it. Don't do it. He's my friend. Don't do it. But they have a 0.16% a chance of spawning, so pretty rare if I say so myself, so. That's the second one I've actually seen in my lifetime, but this time I actually have, like, proof. Anyways, like, we should we should get back to the video. Uh, I'm out here looking for, um, uh, what are they called? The, the pickles? The sea pickles? Uh, I'm pretty sure they only spawn coral reefs, so I'm headed to one now, but it's, like, super far away. Uh, anyways, bye, pink sheep. I love you. Pickles on the sea floor. Pickles. Pickle. Oh, shoes. That song copyrighted? Uh, I'll, I'll take the risk. Pickles. Pickles on the sea floor. I have one half of all the items placed into their item frames. Um, I don't have it on this side yet, but that's okay. Uh, and I'm not gonna actually do that side yet because I was doing this, so later on when I have all the hoppers, um, and I have to place in the right item into the hopper, I wouldn't have to go back to the testing world and whatnot. Um, but now that I know I can just do this and, like, switch... Uh, between it really easily like open both of them on my computer at the same time um, Yeah, I feel like it's kind of useless now to like uh, Be doing this so instead we're gonna actually get started on the redstone behind uh, the Sorting items and whatnot and then we'll actually get all the items that we need later on and place them into their hoppers Instead of just placing them into the item frame. Uh, so let's get started on that. Oh dear. 
I'm I'm gonna have to make an iron farm next episode. There's no way way around it. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to finish the item sorter today. So, um, next episode. Probably we're going to be working on an iron farm. I, we have one piece of iron left. No, actually, we might have like two, but yeah, we're we're out of iron basically, so that's delightful. <laughs> uh, well, it's going really, really well. Uh, I have two strands of the hoppers in. Uh, there's another one that goes on top, uh, but... I have like um, 22 hoppers left and this is like 58 in one row <laughs> so that's great uh, I yeah we're making an iron farm next episode for sure I know mumbo jumbo just made one and whatnot I typically don't like to like do stuff that other people have recently done because you're more than likely watching them too um, but I have no choice um, but yeah it's, it's going well and I even added the random block stuff in here too uh so we still have to add what item actually goes in here uh but i tested it for redstone and if we just grab some more redstone and plop it in right here right here um it will start to flow through but obviously if we put that somewhere else it, it it won't flow through because the hopper will be full uh but yeah it's going great and i'm excited uh but sally i think that's all i have time for today i actually have to like post this video well i have to edit it tomorrow and then post it and whatnot uh so yeah i don't know if it's 20 minutes but i have to go uh so thank you guys so much for watching i highly appreciate it uh but really fast go check out my sponsor sticky pistons uh, here's here's a little thing sticky piston is the minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from, such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out. And I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, highly appreciate it. If you guys like my videos, then please consider subscribing and whatnot. Uh, like the video. Um, but yeah. Hope to see you guys in my next video, and goodbye!